All right, Johnny, got an interesting episode for you today. Uh, found out I got termites. And so we're going to show you a little bit about uh, how to fix your floors. Not that I'm doing it, but the guy that does it is a good friend of mine. And so you're going to learn about a little floor repair. Hey everyone, I am here with Jake, the floor guy. <laughs> and uh, Jake is the one that's going to be doing the floor in our house. So I'm going to show you some things, actually I'm going to let him show you some things about what it takes to do that. So this all started when I stepped inside the back door and I felt the floor sink. So I knew something was wrong. So sure enough, uh, as we took the old floor off, there was evidence that bugs had been eating some of the wood and uh, that's not a good sign and uh, clearly it was right by the back door i thought it was moisture related because of its location but unfortunately it looked like there was some pest control so as we found little dead insect bodies we saved a couple of them to show to the pest control guy uh, fortunately when he came he said those that we were finding were no big deal those were carpet beetles or carpet something or others didn't matter weren't a big deal uh, but there had been termites underneath the door and uh, for whatever reason they weren't there anymore uh, which was good news but that was why the subfloor by the back door was a problem all right we're, we had termites damage right here that we got uh, a pest guy came and told us that they were all dead and sprayed just to make sure. And now we got a hole in the floor. And Jake, what are you doing here? So we're kind of blocking out under this door. The termites got to all that and it was all rotted out. So now we need to build up some supports. Um, we cut out our hole kind of we, when we did that. We planned on where things are going to land and we just want it to be solid is the goal. Yeah, so we got some blocks here. You just try to overkill it as pretty oh, much Oh, you're going to beef it up way, aren't you? So, oh, nice. it's not as if there's a ton of weight there anyways, because it's all stretched out across the house, but there's this gap right here that's missing. And the rest of that was solid, so. Cool. So where did you learn to do floors? I learned when I was 16. It was like my first job. Working with someone that did floors. Yep. You just hired on as labor to, yep. to figure it out. I always liked like the DIY channel and stuff like that when I was a little kid. Yeah. And but my dad wasn't super handy, so I kind of just learned it myself. <laughs> so wood rot caused by termites that apparently have been dead for a while, gratefully, but with just an extra spray to make sure. And now Jake's putting them back together. <laughs> All right, so what are you doing here? Tell us what you're doing. I just fell in the hole here, just putting so, some lightweight filler in it. So then it's all the same height. Floor's uneven. We're going on top of the linoleum. Where we're replacing the carpet, you had to put some wood to get it the same level. Yep. Tell me what you're doing up here. Making a volcano. <laughs> this is a good way to The mix science it. experiment, huh? Right. You're mixing cement in my house. Yep. It's just <laughs> easy to keep it on the floor and you can do what, smaller amounts. So. And with this, but the, what you're doing with it is... We're just smoothing out this shim. Honestly, I just didn't quite have enough. And so I have a little gap over there too. And so this will be a good way to make this work. And this is to level the carpet with 
the flooring. Yeah, it just brings the carpet up so then it will look right. Um, if I just tucked it, your this flooring would be too high and it'd stub your toe on it. Yeah. You have tack strip and a little tax there, grab it. So what we're doing here is we're gonna kick it. But you got that springboard in there too, that spring. Yeah, we also have this and that kind of acts as a clamp. So you tuck the carpet and then the carpet goes underneath that and you just oh, and that's what tap it down. down. Okay, cool. So. All right. Okay, so all of this flooring problem started because the floor was sagging right there inside the back door. So Jake here has done some repairs. So what is it you've done? So we built up the subfloor underneath this, but on this doorway, um, we cut the rod out of the bottom so you can kind of see the clean cut there. And then there's another one right here that's kind of caulked up and needs to be painted. So all the wood was right there was all corroded basically. Yep. Yep, and then so we caulked around the door to try to get get that sealed so there can't be water getting in there. And we'll put some more caulk here. But I'm just sanding this to clean it up, and it's sitting a little high too, so we're gonna okay. try to get the door to close good. Cool. He's giving him his what everybody needs to know about being a man speech. Couple questions for you, Jake, then. Yeah. Um, how'd you get into doing what you're doing here? Um, yeah, so I started when I was 16 in high school. It was one of my first jobs. And I just work in the summer and sometimes weekends and things like that. Um, and then I figured it was a good way to pay for school. So I moved states and kind of just figured it on doing that for, you know, the meantime. So you're not from around here then? No. Well, I didn't know that. Where are you from? I actually grew up in Oregon. Oh, in Oregon, oh, okay. How many tools does it take to, for someone, if someone wanted to do this themselves, what kind of a investment in tools would they need besides the practice and the education and stuff? Yeah, um, definitely. A lot? <laughs> like a van full of tools. Like I've spent, I'm sure, thousands, but it's you just get them little by little and you can get used and uh -huh. there's always things you can find. And yeah, just accumulate them slowly. And, build up using as an excuse to get something new. You got another yeah. job, you can... Uh... Yeah, that's one of my favorite quotes. If you're going to do a new job, you always got to get a new tool out of it. <laughs> so. All right, great. Yeah. That was a good speech. <laughs>